What's up guys? In this video I'm going to show you how the Kindle Fire HD 7 inch runs Android 4.2.2. So the first thing I want to say is this is not for everyone because I had a couple problems. It took me about a week to figure out. The problem is uh, instead of putting the firmware for Android uh, for the Kindle Fire HD 7 inch I put the firmware for the Kindle Fire 8 inch which was a huge problem. Uh, I was stuck in Torp with no OS, so I had a pretty problem and then I fixed it with ADB sideload by using Torp. So it was not a big deal, but uh, it took me a week to figure it out. So the first problem is, as you can see, the orientation doesn't work perfectly. I'll turn it back on, uh, right here. As you can see, I'm holding it this way, but the Kindle Fire is showing the other way. Now, this is not a huge deal, but it's one of the pro one of the problem. Also on the lock screen, I can't put it in landscape mode. It doesn't work in landscape mode. After you're done with the lock screen, it pretty much works pretty well. There is not that many problem. On some games like the Trials Extreme 3, let me see if I could demonstrate to you. As you can see, I'm holding it this way. It's facing toward me, but it's still the orientation is messed up. Once you hold it this way, it sometimes also reverses, but once you start playing the game, it works perfectly. Let me see if I could demonstrate to you. Might take a while. As you can see now, when, when the game starts, it's not a big problem. One of the other game, I think it's called Explain 9, the uh, accelerometer was messed up, so I couldn't really play that game. So I'm not sure how many games uh, has this problem, but there is some problem. Like I said, this is the unofficial version of Synergen Mod 9, um, Mod 10. So it doesn't work perfectly, but it's stable. There is no crashing problem. Games works perfectly. I got Google Apps, so it works well. There's not really much to say. This is basically Android. This is what you would experience in Nexus 7 with few hassle. Orientation, once you're in the OS, besides the lock screen, it works well. Now the experience is really different be uh, between Kindle Fire OS and this. I think uh, on the Kindle Fire HD review, I showed you how the web browser has problem in yahoo.com. So I'm going to go to yahoo.com to show you. Uh, oh, I'm in offline. I'm just going to connect to Wi-Fi. I actually disconnected the Wi-Fi, so... Now, I'm going to re... I'm going to go to the web browser again. As you can see, now it's much more smooth. Web browsing is really good on this. But you lose a couple of screen real estate, about half an inch of screen real estate. Not half, maybe one fourth, but it's not a big deal because you're getting Android. That means you could download any app from the Google Play Store. Even though you could get Google Play Store on the Kindle, some games were not available, like Grand Theft Auto Vice City, GTA. I'm just gonna search GTA. If you search on the Kindle Fire, not in the Kindle Fire Store, in the Google Play Store in Kindle Fire, you wouldn't be able to play this game. But on this, you could play this game. This device has a 1.2 GHz OMAP 4460 processor. So this is actually pretty uh, fantastic. It works phenomenally. doesn't have problem. As you, I'm just going to show you how fast this is. Synergen mod is already fast on device. If you have, even if you have Nexus 7 with stock Android, and if you put Synergen mod, it's going to be much more smoother. So this is great. This is a big improvement for the Kindle. Right, right now, the Kindle Fire HD 7 inch is being sold for $159. That's $70 less than the new Nexus 7. The new Nexus 7 is way better than this, but this is definitely worth that price because you're getting $159, you're getting a lot of feature. It has a uh, 1.2 megapixel front facing camera that shoots HD. So Skype also works perfectly. Besides some problem with the orientation lock, it's not a big deal. Oh, one more problem, I'm sorry. The, sometimes it, it happens occasionally once in a day. When you plug in the headphone, it doesn't play the audio through the headphone. It plays the audio through the speaker. That's not a huge deal. Sometimes it's a, uh, to fix that issue, you have to turn the 
turn the device off and turn it back on and after that it works perfectly so this is not for everyone because I had a problem like I said but if you get through this if you're a tech geek you wanna do modified things or you wanna put a different OS I'm gonna I'm gonna eventually put Ubuntu when it comes out and uh, maybe Android 4.3 I'm not sure if there is a mod or if there's a Synergen mod for Android 4.3 when it comes out I'm gonna get that and I'm gonna make a video about it so that's about it thank you for watching